What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Robert Linkle with TrainingTheOlderAdult.com. And I want to talk to you today about my rucking kit. This is a question that I get asked often. What do you wear? What do you use? What's all your equipment? And let's go through it here a little bit, um, start to finish, take you through what I wear first, and then uh, all the gear that I uh, add on to do the sport of rucking. Okay, base layer to start off. First thing um, that you're going to look at is uh, a, a base layer or an initial layer t-shirt or a long sleeve. Um, typically, you do not want to wear uh, cotton, okay? Cotton is not a great material to wear underneath because as you start to sweat, the cotton gets wet and saturated and it does not wick away or dry out very easy. So the second that you stop and you feel, you know, like you're, you're fine and you're warm, the second you stop, you have this cold layer on your frame and you can get very chilly very quick. Uh, and it does not dry out very fast. So um, this is uh, one of the shirts that I got from Go Ruck. It does have a little bit of cotton in it, I think like 20%, but it's mostly like a polyester uh, spandex combo of some sort. So these are good. The other ones are uh, like the little waffle, the dry fit, um, any of those, you know, that's a good base layer. Same with your underwear. Uh, you want some type of, you know, stretchy, um, you know, waffly type of, of base layer to start with that. Again, don't want cotton underwear around uh, your lower half. It's just going to, again, hold moisture and make you cold. Uh, on top of that, we're going to add a, a long sleeve. This is the perfect, uh, you know, kind of dry fit material here. Um, REI, you know, Under Armour, wherever you're going to go with here, this is... Uh, um, it doesn't say, but anyway, it's dry fit material. You can see that little waffly pattern. This uh, does a very good job of airing out when it gets cold. I love these ones too, because they have the little thumb, okay, the little thumb hook. So when I wear my gloves, the, this guy will go down, hook over my thumb. I can put my gloves over that. Uh, so it keeps all my warmth in while I'm going. So I have that guy. And then my pants. Now when the summertime we wear, you know, I'll wear shorts, something like that. But pants right now. These are water resistant, so they will whisk water off, but they will saturate. Uh, you can, it's a good idea to carry a uh, rain layer with you. Today it's raining, so I've got all my gear out, um, kind of bring it all with me just in case. But these guys are great. They're stretchy. You can squat in them, lunge in them. I've trained in these plenty of times, but just rucking in them, hiking in them. They're great pants. So uh, any of those, these are uh, uh, Prana. Um, any of the North Face stuff, Columbia, uh, let's see, what are some of the other ones? Um, cool, uh, anyhow, you, any, pretty much anything you're going to find at REI, any of your mountain hardware, any of that kind of stuff is really good. All right, beyond that, oh, uh, socks, um, really good mountaineering, hiking socks that are going to be thicker. I think this is a wool spandex combo for this one. Again, not cotton. Um, something that's a little thick, it's going to give you a good layer to wear in your boots. Um, socks need to be broken in just like a, uh, a good pair of boots will be. They will give you blisters in the beginning or they'll swish and slide on you a little bit. Um, I wash mine a couple of times before I wear them. My wife loves to wear fresh socks, like freshly purchased. I can't stand that feeling of uh, the brand new material, like swishy and sliding on my feet. I'll wash them three, four, five times uh, to get some wear into them first. A lot of times I'll just put them on and wear them around the house, beat them up a little bit, uh, and then I'll, I'll wear them from there. Uh, next layer, after my long sleeve, uh, I love the vest. This is a great uh, li liner here to keep extra warmth in on the torso, but if it's you know 45 to 60 degrees, you're like, I wanna stay kinda warm, but I also don't need my jacket on. The vest is perfect for that. Uh, sometimes too, I'll do my base layer T-shirt with the vest and just have like a little extra warmth around my torso, but my arms, extremities and all that are doing okay, 60, 65 degrees. Basically have a little chart that kind of shows me like what my temperatures are outside and how much gear I need to wear. And that's just kind of a personal preference. Um, beyond that, this is kind of a regular, this company is called uh, Crag Hoppers, uh, C-R-A-G Hoppers, Crag Hoppers. I love these guys. They're European, so the sizes are uh, a little small. Um, my jacket is a 2X, and I think initially I got an XL, and I had to ship it back, get another one. And I've had 
my very first Craig Hopper jacket I had for like 10 years. I gave it to my dad. He wore it for probably four or five years. Just recently he gave it back to me because he went from, you know, being 300 pounds to 180 pounds. And uh, it's not even close to fitting him anymore. So he gave it back to me. So I have a backup and it's still in great shape. I mean, I wore the shit out of that thing. He wore the shit out of it. Uh, this is my new one. It's a little bit more of an athletic performance version. It's got multiple different pockets. Uh, it is water resistant. It's not waterproof by any means, but it is water resistant, which means it'll bead water and whisk, but it will saturate if you're in heavy rain. The little hoods that come up, they've got the little prop over the eyes. Um, really good if you're wearing a headlamp, okay, something like that. Inside pockets, um, they've got some vents on them as well. I mean, they just make really good products. Uh, they have the, the sleeve tighteners, so you can cinch up and tighten up around the sleeves, again, to keep your warmth in. And then if you need to air out, uh, just a great, great, great jacket. And then, uh, so that's a really good soft shell, as they call it. And my hard shell, uh, this is a uh, REI special, I do believe, yeah, REI. Um, hard shells are waterproof, so they cinch up really tight. They also have vents on the side. so. If you're getting warm, if it's really humid, you can air out uh, from the inside, open these guys up, it can vent, but it's still your arms are down so the water won't necessarily seep in and get your clothes underneath. Um, these are called welds, and basically that just means how the pockets seal. Uh, the weld is on the outside, and as you zip it up, the welds hold together and keep the water because the pockets are usually the spots, if you're in a downpour, these are the spots that are most susceptible to the water getting in. If it was just a closed material the whole time, it would be fine. So these guys are the ones where the water will seep in through your pocket and get your cell phone or whatever else you're holding underneath it. So these have welds all the way through them to kind of cinch it up, hold it really tight. This is a fantastic jacket. I took this up Rainier, that was in 2008. I took this up Shasta with me uh, last year. So this is a um, heavily used, uh, almost two decade old jacket and look how good a shape it's in. I wear it every single season when I'm in, uh, in the rain, wh wherever I'm at, it's a great jacket. It folds up really quick and easy and just goes in the backpack. Fantastic. Um, your wool, uh, stocking or your, your beanie, uh, whatever you want to call it. Again, Crag hoppers love these guys. Um, what, I mean, just one of those brands of clothing that feel good on the body. When you put them on, you're good to go. Um, very durable. Again, I've had this beanie, I think eight or 10 years. I mean, I love this thing. I had one for 10 years prior to that and, uh, wore it out. And then my under armor, um, these are just little base liners. Like I, I don't, my hands get extremely warm. So these I've worn all the way down to like 30 degrees below 30. I'm putting on another pair of just winter gloves that go over these, but I'm pretty good with these all the way down to freezing. Uh, I really like having uh, that dexterity in my hands too, uh, because I carry flashlights and other stuff with me, sometimes hiking sticks, et cetera. And then to me, there's nothing better um, on footwear. These are called the Lone Peaks from Ultra. I love these boots. I, I get a new pair every year. I have a client, uh, husband and wife, client Jerry and Susan, who every year they send me uh, money for Christmas to buy a new pair of boots. I'm mentioned maybe two years ago that uh, I wanted uh, to purchase these new boots for this, this um, activity of rucking that I do. And they said, oh, how much are those boots? And I told them, and next thing I know, I got a, a gift card to purchase these. So I got my first pair, uh, 2020, 2021, I got another, they hooked me up with that. And then this year, these boots have been doing great for me. They uh, got me a new pair of indoor trainers from Go Ruck, which are my lifting boots which I will do in another video of lifting gear. So that's pretty much the kit. I'm gonna get dressed, I'm in my jammies now. I'm gonna get layered up and get all this on and get ready to go rock and roll. And then I will take you through the gear that you wear on top. All right, gang, so let's go through this here. I'll, I'll get to the actual ruck here in just a moment, but just to start with like the regular gear that I bring, uh, number one, I have reflectors that I wear on the ruck. These guys are just little 
pop straps. They're like slap bracelets that you would put on, you know, slap around your wrist there. Um, these guys, they can hook anywhere and they come in these really cute little kits uh, that come along with these guys. So these are, they have a belt that goes around your waist if you want to do that. There are vests you can wear, but these are just little ones of Velcro around uh, my ankles. So when I'm walking, they can see, you know, this in the, in the lights. So I have one of those to go around each ankle. And then I have a pair of the slap bracelets, one on the top of my ruck, one on the belt that I wear in the front. Um, I carry a pocket knife uh, with me. This goes on uh, my chest. It's on my, my center strap that goes across my, my chest. I hook that on there. It has a little clip on the back. Um, I really like uh, Kershaw, uh, American-made blades, and uh, they have a little flick component to them so they can come out nice and easy. I do suggest carrying uh, a sharp blade and then having the serrated option I always think is a good thing to have in case you ever need to cut away or be able to saw into something, etc. Uh, this is my torch or my little hand light. Uh, this guy does really good. Um, it has four different intensities that you can brighten up from here. It's charging, so I'm not wasting batteries. Um, can redo that every other week or so. I'll charge that up. This is just a spotlight. It's not one that's on constantly. Um, that would be my headlamp that I wear. Uh, so this guy's got different levels of intensity and uh, different alerts on it that you can do if you need a strobe, uh, high, low, dimmer, etc. Uh, this is a uh, black diamond. I do think theirs are very good and worth the uh, the money. Um, I always bring a chapstick with me. I actually bring two because I don't like getting caught out there without something like this, a lip balm. Um, this is the Duke Cannon uh, men's lip balm. I think this is the probably the best one that I've used. Uh, there's other ones like Viking, um, Burt's Bees, etc. Some others that are good. You need your house keys, car keys, whatever you have there. A couple of little snacks or bars you're going to bring with you. I have little candies that I bring as well. Uh, a wallet, my ID, uh, some extra cash, always good to have. I also have a $20 bill stashed away in my ruck itself in case you ever need uh, an Uber back or uh, Uber, a, uh, uh, a ride back or if you need to stop and buy something. A um, little first aid kit. These little guys, I mean, they're super, super basic, but just some additional band-aids, a little Neosporin, you know, something like that in case you get a little roughed up. And then we've got some um, more efficient uh, medical stuff in here to use in just a second. But that's kind of the basic setup of the gear that I wear on me. And the ruck itself, this is a Go Ruck uh, rucking backpack. I love their gear. They've got amazing products. I've had this one for two plus years. I wear it three or more times a week in rain and, you know, whatever conditions. And it still looks brand new. This thing is fantastic. Has a little patch hook up here. Um, I go with a company... Uh, that's called rucking challenges and every month they send you a new patch to earn so my little strategy for this is whatever month okay is coming up here the one that i'm about to earn goes on the inside uh, this is just my my texas one that i like to put here uh, i got when i was there uh, on a trip so this is kind of my placeholder for whenever i get my new one and when i get that new one right when i take it out of the envelope i put it here and so it goes on the inside and I kind of prep and prepare myself for whatever that ruck is going to be for the month. And then when I go and do it, once I've successfully achieved it, it gets, I finish the ruck, I tear it off of here, and then I will remove the previous months, and then I'll put the new one on earned, and then I'll leave that one for the month until I get the new one. And I continue to do that every month. They give you a new challenge, a new ruck, a new workout, etc. cetera. Uh, on the outside, I have a little extra light on here. There's a high, a low, and then a strobe. Uh, I will put it on low and I actually point it back at the ruck. So when I'm moving, okay, this kind of goes back and forth and it's just one more light. Remember, the whole thing is like, I want to be seen. Uh, I don't want people to uh, have me, you know, I, I don't want to blend in with my environment around me. I want to be seen. So the more lights, the merrier. Um, this is my, uh, my little bladder, my water container. So having one of those, uh, don't know exactly what the full liters are in this let's see this is a 3000 um, liter three liter excuse me three liter 3000 ounces i think something like that and uh, this is from 511 they make great gear really really great gear uh, i love i love their stuff very durable okay it hangs in here good support um, i bring an extra towel with me in case i ever need to draw dry off or if there's any um, 
you know, I spill anything or if there's a medical issue, I've got something there. This is uh, an external plate carrier. I can put like my two tens or an extra 20 in here. And then the big plate carrier in the back, the one closest to you, that's my 30 pounder. That one stays in this ruck at, at all times. The 30 never comes out. It's either 30 or whatever else I'm carrying, 40, 50, maybe even up to 60 pounds sometimes. I'll throw extra plates in there. That guy gets latched down and hooked in there really well. And then uh, additional um, attachments here. Again, I have my little slap bracelet there. There's another one that goes on my hip harness. I am such a fan of the hip harnesses. I think you really need these to make sure you're getting that back support because the, the hip harnesses take weight off of your back and apply it to your hips so the hip can take the load. And through the rucks, you can kind of switch back and forth. You could cinch up the hip and loosen up your shoulders and let your hips take more and then vice versa. And we kind of switch, switch every hour or so that kind of a thing, so we're not abusing one. Now I have an extra uh, heavy duty carabiner. My uh, mouthpiece here for um, my bladder comes up over the top and I loop that through this guy and it just kind of holds it to my shoulder strap. So this isn't flopping around. There are many different ways to do it. I've seen people loop it through some of those, but I, I like this, it just kind of holds in place. Um, as the morning kind of goes on and things start brightening up, I'll hook my um, my headlamp here, uh, I'll do my keys off of this, just whatever, whatever needs to stay like semi handy. Okay. I've got my little, uh, chest harness strap that connects there. This is where I hang my, uh, my knife, my, um, flashlight, my extra little torch there that I put on. So that's a good addition. This guy was fantastic. This is from 511. This is my phone uh, carrier that just opens up your phone slides right in there. And uh, it's got a little open end, so audio, your volume can pop out. I'll listen to book on tape or whatever else that I'm podcast, whatever it is, too. Very cool as well. This is a patch that you can rip off and on and add new ones in there as well. So that's pretty much it as far as all the equipment goes. See my other slap bracelet goes on my harness in the front. And again, this will swing back and forth as I'm walking, so the headlights will catch that. Uh, these rocks, again, you... They, they are, you know, a tiny bit expensive. I mean, this was $250, but I'll never need another one. It's extremely durable. It's fantastic uh, product. I love them. I think they're the best. Uh, on the inside, I carry a tourniquet just in case. Uh, I have seen car accidents, and um, one of the things that I'm most concerned about is not being able to treat someone that I run into. So I have a tourniquet just in case I see something catastrophic. I, at least I could try to slow some bleeding and save somebody. I bring some extra batteries with me for my, uh, my headlamp and my torch. Uh, again, I have my $20 stored down below. And then, you know, any other snacks, foods, whatever else uh, you need to bring with you, depending on how long you're going to be out there. Um, some people will bring an extra t-shirt. They'll bring uh, a full medical kit. Um, I am a big fan of being prepared for anything and everything that might come my way. So I tend to carry a little bit more stuff than I guess the average person does. But uh, that all in all is pretty much my entire kit from start to finish. Um, go ruck. You won't be disappointed with these rucking challenges. They are awesome. 511, they make great stuff. REI, Crag Hoppers, um, Ultra on the boots. Again, I don't have any financial connections to any of these products. They are just the ones that I use and they're proven and I love them. So I figured I would pass that info on to all of you. Have a great day, everybody. We love and appreciate you and we will see you next time. Go Ruck!